That looks like a mermaid with a white tail. This is Jimbo Moon, and this is another game review with Marley. Marley's actually going to let me do most of the review today. Mm -hmm. And we just played Mermaid Rain by Z-Man Games. So Mermaid Rain, uh, it's not really a resource management game. It kind of is. It plays the to determine turn sequence and who goes first. You have a hand of cards, birds, turtles, and dolphins, and you play them in a similar manner as poker, getting a full house, four of a kind, two pairs, etc. And the high hand, you know, gets bonuses to the your movement and everything else. That's the general game mechanic, no dice. The idea is to earn points on the point chart and the person who gets the most points at the end of the game is the mermaid who grows legs and gets on the water and marries the prince. So all the mermaids are competing for the prince, prince's hand in marriage. Um, so throughout the game you have the ocean in various places. You have a sunken ship. You have an island and you have a sea cave and in all those places you have various treasure you have abalone, crystal, coral, pearls and dragon scale gems and you have to collect the most you have to collect the most treasures and after paying a tribute to the sea witch you add up all your treasures and there's a point system and whoever has the most points wins so because there's a sea witch tribute, a witch tribute in which you pay, we decided to use a famous sea witch in the game. This did not come with the game. This was added at a Marley's toy collection. So uh, Marley, you want to say anything about this? Yes. Ursula is a part of Ariel. She she um she's an octopus. She's a witch. She's bad. She eats souls. She eats souls. Uh huh. What's well, interesting that you mentioned Ursula is an octopus because part of the scoring with playing cards you won't be able to read it very well. Maybe you can, but if you do not get uh, at least a pair in your hand you get what's called the octopus hand which isn't worth any bonus points so it's a neat little tie-in uh, it's fairly easy to get at least one pair the way it works so it's not completely random uh, but anyway so this is mermaid rain the way you move from place to place is with these tide markers and you play your cards to move along the tide markers depending on if it's a bird, a, sea, a seagull, dolphin, or a turtle. So Mermaid Rain, Marley earned 51 points and I earned 50 points so she beat me by one point. And uh, anything else you want to add to it? Yes, I would love to. Um, so I almost, so I won and I, it's like both sides of the cars are the prints. I don't know why. That's crazy. It is a little crazy. Mm -hmm. So, this is it. Z Main Games, Mermaid Rain. Fairly easy game to play. It was a little complicated, complicated to sort through the rules because it's not a, uh, a typical resource management or dungeon crawl style board game. So it's it's a little unique in its gameplay, so it wasn't as easy just reading through them once. I had to read through them twice, maybe a third time. But once I learned it, the game itself is easy to play, and it'd be easier to explain it to other people. So that's it, Mermaid Rain. Bye, Ursula. <laughs>